Hi, welcome back to Three Sports. Coach Weemers, uh, we're working today on defensive back play. Uh, in particular, the deepest four corners or safety type players, skilled players in a defensive secondary on uh, our backpedaling or our bail positioning. And what we're gonna add to this, what we talked about before, I'm gonna have LJ set up in backpedal position here. I'm gonna have Coop just give him a little look at a key here, you guys sit right here. I got Coop and LJ with me here today. Um, one thing I wanna get something, I gotta get something across, I think it's so important if you're coaching an eight-year-old secondary player or somebody that's in college or high school or whatever, these guys in the back, the secondary guys, always need a place to look at. You need to give them a place to put their eyes on a play. So in all of our drills, uh, we talked about in the previous set, um, we're either going to have man eyes as a secondary player looking at our man or zone eyes. Zone eyes me, I'm going to be probably looking somewhere else besides my man, reading my keys, trying to find out what the play is going to be. Okay? So what we're going to do on this, we're going to let LJ take a four-step reading back pedal, a key back pedal. Now what's a key? Okay, everybody says, well, read your keys. Well, a key is an identification person or thing or type of movement from the offense that a defensive player can look at to help understand basically two things. Number one, is it run and pass, run or pass, and what direction is it, is it going? So if, if I have LJ looking at, uh, let's just say this is an offensive lineman, and we have LJ maybe playing safety, and we may be looking at the offensive lineman, and if the offensive lineman comes out and blocks like that hard and heavy, what are we going to ask him to do probably? Read back pedal and then probably come help and fit as a run player, right? If this, if this is a receiver, inside receiver, and he comes off low and hard, low pads, really going to run his pass route, LJ will stay in his back pedal, okay? So a quick little drill here. I'm going to tell Cooper to do a couple things here. I'll say it out loud so everybody knows what to do here, but we're going to be reading the number two receiver with man eyes. Everybody understand that? Okay. His eyes will be on him. And in this case, Coop's going to come off fast. What will our secondary player do? He'll stay in his back pedal. Four steps reading. He gets a pass key. He'll just continue to back pedal. Okay. Going from slow to fast. Let's look at it here real quick. Coop just run uh, right at him at three quarter speed. Here we go. Set. There, just like that, good, perfect. So what we end up with here, our keys told us that it was a pass, okay? So now we'll do just one more quick one here. And listen, you can add all the keys that you see from the offensive guys into a little box right here and work on key reading. With all the great video and stuff we have these days, you can see it on film and, and understand what your keys are. This time, we're going to have Coop be a receiver. We're keying him with man eyes, and he's going to come block me, making it a run. And LJ, reading his keys, will go four-step read, and then he'll fire onto this guy's outside shoulder to be a run-fit player. All right, here we go. Coming right here to block Coop. Here we go on set. Set. Blocking and fit right there. Good. So you can get in a box like this. We can read keys. Have your eyes on a lineman, a receiver, a back, a quarterback with zone eyes, right? We can look at him and react off of what he's doing to give us a chance to backpedal, bail, uh, read our keys, and react to the play.